Hi everyone, we have two new Windows builds today in the Instator channels dev and beta. I'm going to be taking a look at the dev one because the beta just has fixes, no new features, but the devs are getting less stable. So if you are on the dev channel, um, I would recommend that you move to beta before you update to these. Anyway, I have it here and let's pull up the Windows blog post and check it out. So it has the warning about what I just said and then the SMB compression behavior change. But then on the boot screen, we now have this animation instead of the dots one like we had before. So when Windows is booting up the initial boot process, that will now show the thing. However, when you are shutting it down, when you are logging in other times like that, it does not do it yet. But they are going to be replacing that with this new animation. And in here, it doesn't look very smooth but it is very smooth when you are booting up the OS and so if we go to heater and if we right click the Bluetooth entry now we can do go to settings right heater and then the Windows startup sound will no longer play after an unattended update so like when you have your PC just sitting there and then it updates automatically, it's not going to play the sound and annoy you if you're not actually sitting there and using it. Now there is a link to the touch keyboard personalization settings from typing touch keyboard. Notifications now have an acrylic background, so that's like the blur. Updated animation used in the notification introducing you to Windows Hello if it hasn't been set up. Updated the dialogue when closing Windows Sandbox so that it has rounded visuals. So I haven't tried Windows Sandbox, but I may do a video on that at some point. We'll see about that. Adjusted the design of notification center to make the app names more visibly separated from the notifications. So I guess this is the new design right here. So the app name is kind of more separated, I guess. Anyway, there are a bunch of fixes right here, but there is another thing that I noticed and I don't know if it's new in this build or what. But if we go to the start menu and click on the power button, I now see sign in options, which I didn't see before. So if we go there, then we have these. I guess we can automatically save restartable apps. So basically, if you turn that on and you restart your computer, it will open up all your apps. So that was kind of like highlighted. Maybe that's what they want you to do. And then so you have the regular settings here. Anyway, so that's something that I noticed in this new build, but they don't mention it. Anyway, there are a bunch of fixes right here. Many fixes it looks like. And then there are some known issues. And even though there are a bunch of fixes, you still, you know, I would recommend moving to the beta channel because if we pull up that blog post, it just has these for the changes and then the fixes are just the you know, there's lots of fixes there, but there are no changes besides these right here. So basically, if you were to right click on here, go to taskbar settings, it actually takes you to the taskbar settings rather than the personalization thing like before. And that's how it originally was. Then they changed it. I'm not sure why they did it, but they changed it back. So anyway, another thing that you can do, you can now install Windows on unsupported PCs. So basically you can get the ISO and you can go through the initial setup. I haven't checked that out yet, but I may do that. Anyway, so you have to have a TPM, um, but you don't have to have TPM 2.0 and you have to have the secure boot and RAM, I think. 
But the CPU generation thing is the thing that you can bypass and the TPM 2.0, although you still have to have a TPM. But sometimes it may not recognize it. Anyway, so I haven't tried that, but this computer actually has a 7th generation Intel Core i7, so it's not officially supported. However, it let me use it because it's Insider. Anyway, that is about it for today. Subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. And until next time, we will see you next time.